Welcome to my channel, my name is Little Boy, and today we will create an amazing bureau sequence but it's gonna be very special and different because it's in a not very traditional way it's in a way that I like a lot and personally is my new favorite one because we're gonna be using the SlidePod Pro from Moza thank you very much for supporting this channel and let's jump right into it make sure to stick around watch this video to the end because I'm gonna share everything that I do to create a cinematic bureau just like this one Tip number one, lens. When filming bureau, it's very important to know what lens to use because it will take and show a lot about your product. If I wanna make a product look bigger than normal, I would choose a lower focal length, like a 16 millimeters, because it will create some distortion and it will make object look taller and longer. But in this case, for this bureau sequence, I wanna be very realistic without any distortion. Since it's gonna be for a tattoo for my documentary in Brazil. That's why I chose the 50mm f1.8 That will give me a nice compression and will be very very sharp Tip number 2 Light Light is very important when filming B-roll because you have the power to show the details, three-dimensional look and creating some depth I will be using my favorite key light from Nanolite, the Forza 60B with a softbox diffusion and a pivot tube 15 as my backlight High quality light is crucial for a high quality image Remember that. Tip number three, movement. Not every bureau need to have movement. Sometimes less is more. And a tripod or a monopod is great to just show what the subject is doing or to highlight a scene. In this case, I want movement to be more epic and dynamic. And we'll be using my new favorite assistant, the SlidePod Pro, which is an electronic monopod that I can control via my iPhone using the Moza Master app that I can make horizontal and vertical movements. Tip number four, quality. Most of the bureau we see people whipping around with 120 frames per second, which compromise a little bit of the light situation. Not a problem for us. And then you have to slow down later. But in my case, I wanna make sure that we can see every little detail of the tattoo. It's the final product after a long sessions, so need to be epic. With a lot of details and the best quality possible. That's why this LiPower Pro comes in handy. It's very smooth and I don't need to stretch later. I have 4K quality and if I need, I can speed up or zoom in. Tip number five, background. If you want a lot of movement, make sure to add something in front and behind the subject and position your subject far away from the wall so you can see the parallax movement. But in this case, I prefer a clean, soft background so we can focus only on the tattoo. Moza Master app. We're just gonna connect. Infinite loop, which is very, very nice. I don't need to do much. You can change the speed as well, which is very, very nice. In my case now, I'm gonna do a little bit slower and it's because it's continuous loop, it's gonna go up and it's gonna go down. This way I don't need to do anything. It's nice because it's very, very quiet as well, especially from the app. And it's gonna keep going. This way I'm gonna do the inside part now. The quality for me looks fuego. It's going back down again. I'm gonna look this way. Move back. Very cool, very nice. I'm gonna move this light here. Let's do this in. So far so good. I'm gonna do a little bit more wide one now. Speed, I'm gonna change to 50. There we go. Now you're gonna be able to hear a little bit more. There we go. Very, very cool. You can see everything now. Let's do one back. Just a very nice close up here. Oh, nice. It's literally my eye level right now. It's perfect. We did some vertical up and down. Now we're gonna try to do front and back just to have options and I'm gonna cut back and forth. Tip number six, composition. So I want to be very, very in frame with the tattoo. Now we can go back, downwards. Make sure that you know how to frame properly your subject. It's not about speed and whipping around. I've been there. Now I know that a nice framed subject 
with a slow movement, it's more powerful than a bunch of takes on top of each other with random cuts and transitions and all of that. That's why this LightPod Pro plays a huge factor for my B-roll sequence. I'll be able to position as a monopod like you saw before and I can mount on two tripods or two small tripod and put on my desk for effective horizontal movement. Tip number seven, more is better than less. You shoot what you need and after that you play around and take more B-roll with different lightings, effects and position. So you can have extra footage to play if you need to. I will use this police effect from Nan Light that I like a lot so I can make me look badass. But because I'm working with a tattoo bureau, I cannot change the color of the final product a whole lot. So I keep things at 46K for the most part, just to be safe. That's a nice angle because it's zooming in very, very slowly, but everything is gonna be in 4K, so it's perfect. The quality is gonna be fuego. This one I'm gonna do a little bit faster. Now we're gonna do an infinity loopy. Same thing, speed we're gonna be fast now. Let's do 100%, let's see. Just so we can keep playing. Tip number eight, editing and music. Choose a nice piece of music that fits your project and make some cuts. And crazy because with this setup, I'm literally in my home office. It's literally my room that I made at office. You're able to make Simple things look very, very epic. That's it for me, guys. I hope that you learned something today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know every single time that I post a new video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.